Last time on AI Talks, I did a review on this SNL skit about the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. There I talked about his origins, its storyline and what I personally think of this. In part 2, I'm going to talk about a different skit with the same topic. My question for this is, what does this have to offer? When it comes to subject matter and the topic being said in a particular story, The Fresh Prince is no stranger, its overtone exaggeration in some episodes kinda built on how the characters present themselves from internal emotions to the point where they express their emotions in front of another. It builds the standing point on what they're going through and how they're going to resolve from that particular issue. I've been waiting for this for a long time, my whole life, and ain't nobody gonna stop me. This type of subject matter stands out to us the most because how the characters actually feel expresses the tone that it gives and how real it will turn out to be. But for this skit, this will not be the case. What's this skit about? For starters, it's mostly a DVD commentary of lost episodes of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air as part of their series collection, and then it features interviews of Will Smith and Alfonso Ribeiro, played by Jay Farrow and Kenan Thompson respectfully, as they both discuss the time during filming. Will then recalls the time when they did the episodes on serious topics, and when his character's quirkiness interrupts the story's plotline. I'm late because... because Mr. Henning touched me. <laughs> There's been a car accident, and Philip Banks has been badly hurt. Ching! If you have a problem, I'm here to help you, okay? Unfortunately, what they did to his character in the mock-up of this SNL skit made Will into that type of character who doesn't take things too seriously. In the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, he develops a breaking ground to the point where he had to make these sacrifices in order to build or create character development. And if you had a joke or something that's about to be funny throughout this situation, it won't add up, it will just make it worse. For example, here are these episodes of Family Guy that failed to handle something serious or setting a bad example to what's going to happen by adding jokes to the story. It is not a good concept it only made fans rage quit. Back to the skit, Will said that he's still learning how to be dramatic while filming. When we did some of the more serious episodes, well let's just say I was still learning. If I'm going to say that I love this skit, I'm going to say that Will's reaction and his quirkiness is slightly funny and if I'm going to say that I don't like this, I'm going to say that I don't like that his enjoyable expressions were used during serious topics in some episodes. All of which being the prime example of flanderization. The original's performance as Will could receive some praise from viewers, but in this skit, it will be like everyone gave up on him very quickly. So my overall accuracy on this skit on the scale of 1 to 10, I giving this 3 to 10 and the reason is because I found it to be a portrayal of flanderization and the use of wrong expressions at the wrong time possible. And for those who haven't heard of this word before, flanderization is the process in which some of every character's traits were oversimplified to the point where it becomes that person's personality trait throughout. In my own words, it's mostly just the character's overuse of other personalities. And that is also not the case. I don't have that strong interest to recommend this SNL skit because I found this to be in poor taste. Uh, welcome to Earth! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>